All right, guys, so another wonderful, beautiful day, nice day to be alive, and guess what? Right, now today we're in Sam's Club. How about that? And we're going to review a few TVs now. Let me get this out of the way. Some idiot put this in front of the screen, which is not very clever, is it? Especially when people are trying to look at the screen. You're probably thinking, well, where else is they going to put it? Well, not here, okay? This is a promotional thing, nothing to do with TVs. TV warranty. Somewhat. So what I wanted to compare with you guys is that these are almost identical in price. This $98, $98 difference. This is, a, this is the latest. So this is a Sam's Club. So you're going to see um, the code. They may have a different code. But this is a top-end, uh, fully backlit, full array. Quantum dot Samsung premium LED. Q, it's QN85. So it's one below the top model. As you can see, it's a lot brighter than the LG. Now, this is the a 2022 LG. This is the new one. Uh, and it's $1,800. So this is actually an OLED. But um, as you can see, I'm going to stand back and look at both screens. They have identical content on. Now, I I'm suspect that's also in shop mode. But as you can see, although the OLED has better black levels, it still doesn't justify the price as much. I mean, I would rather go with the premium Samsung LED, uh, surely because it's far more bright, uh, vibrant, the colors are better brightness is extremely bright no comparison and in dark scenes you are going to have better black levels but then you're going to have washed out colors what i mean by that is certain scenes you're not going to even see them uh, because it's just going to be too dark yeah black crushing you're going to get more black crushing there so but here we go so on the right you have 65 inch OLED B series so it's not the C series it's the B series uh, but yeah I mean it's a vast difference $1,800 here we have a budget M series quantum dot 17 inch Vizio for all you budget guys and another budget Samsung here this Samsung is the uh, 7 series the TU700D and the side view angles are terrible on these uh, I suspect they are VA panels but yeah look here's a there's 65 inch for only 527 and it's again the TU700D series yeah but I wouldn't buy that to save my life to be honest with you depends what you're using it for if you're buying it for commercial reasons for your nightclub bar what not sports bar or you know you have a grocery store or something yeah you want to get one of those budget TVs but if you're spending four or five hours a day in front of the TV with your family yeah you want to spend the money you lose far more than that by buying a car next year your car is worth assuming let's say you bought a thirty thousand dollar car next year your car is worth twenty thousand on a good day at the dealership when you want to trade it in it's as simple as that you've just lost ten grand so go out and spend some decent money on a nice TV. Here's another budget one. Um, this is the 60B series QLED. A more of a budget Samsung, but uh, it still looks pretty good. I'm not impressed with the black levels. The black levels don't look too good. But then again, it's a sub thousand dollar television. So can't complain really. Here we have a Vizio V series. Oh, it's $498 at 65 inches, the V series. I'm not sure if this is higher than the M series. It does not look like it's a higher. M series is a higher one. So here we're looking at gigantic TV screens, giant 85 inch. These are relatively budget televisions, so you've got 1347, 
This is the new AU800D. And Q60B, another relatively slightly higher end budget television from Samsung. I don't know why they've switched these off. Okay, I was clever enough to switch it back on. I honestly don't know how to wild guess of where the power button is. but uh, So what you can do is, since these are both uh, gigantic budget TVs, this is the higher end model. They don't have the same content, but the one on the right is the 60B QLED. So it is a backlit quantum dot LED television. However, it's not fully and it doesn't have as many zones but uh, for this money you're not going to get much better so that's an 85 inch for you guys it's the 60 series all right guys i'm sorry about that i had to switch it on fiddle about with the menu and i worked it out so this is another gigantic budget tv this will be an 86 inch so you're getting a full uh, inch high and this tv honestly seems brighter than the uh, samsung there from this angle let's go straight in front of it might be the same brightness yeah so these are both VA panels explains why the brightness is somewhat diminished when you're looking at it from the side but yeah so I'm gonna take the LG sheerly because of the fact that it's a whopping $450 cheaper and an inch it's a full inch size um, more but of course it does not look as vibrant and as uh, lively neither the black levels or the color so as you can see so but you're going to be paying 450 dollars more for one inch less so it's a hard decision if you can uh, compromise a bit you go for the lg yeah the lg doesn't look as nice it's hard to decide really but uh, so that's the $1,900 Samsung, the Q60 series. So if you're looking for a massive budget TV, this is going to do the job. Now, bear in mind, it's very bright in here. We got white lights. This is Sam's Club. So extremely bright in here. And because it's bright, you're seeing the true performance and the reflection capabilities of this TV. So if the TV looks okay to you in a room this bright, it's definitely going to be okay in your room at home. So that's the thing. That's why I do my reviews in these type of places. It's because you're not gonna get a brighter room. This looks like there's a bloody UFO in here or a few UFOs. So, um, So I sincerely don't think you're going to have bright white shining lights in your living room unless you have the windows open, but yeah. Now here is something very interesting guys. I didn't know JVC was in business, let alone produce a TV. So this is interesting, JVC, which is Japan Victor Company. As you know, these guys, they go back 50, 60 years or more. I don't know exactly, but um, So this is a relatively expensive television. It's only a 55 inch, it's a Samsung QLED 70 series seven. But it's a thousand dollars, which is expensive for a 55 inch, but here it is. You can see great black levels and um, definitely very vibrant sharpness is there. And next to it, you'll see this uh, LG budget to $419 television there. What I have noticed is um, Sam's Club does not offer as premium TVs as Costco. Yeah, so I don't know if that's because of the region area, but they don't really have, I think, well, except say for the, um, for a start, they don't stock Sony. I haven't seen any Sonys in the store, but the highest model they had was the Samsung QLED 85, QN85 series. So that's about as high as they got here. 
if you don't count the uh, LG OLED right so <clears throat> And this is the B2, meaning it's the 2022 model, just like the C2, but it's a lower end OLED. So it's one tier below the C series. Yeah, that's correct. So this is a 2022, but look, it's so dull. It looks, uh, the brightness is definitely not there. When compared to a Samsung QLED 85, the OLED is, uh, as you can see, no bueno i don't care how good the black levels are that's just way too uh, low a performance and the other top of the line samsung but yeah guys so uh, as far as sam's club is concerned yeah it doesn't look like they stock the top uh, the really top 90 series samsung or the sony the top sony being the 90 series again uh 95 and also the c2 i did not see any lg c2s in this particular sam's club and this sam's club guys i got some news for you we're actually here in uh tennessee so this is a sam's club in tennessee in the tri-city area and i just wanted to show you what it looks like uh, in the countryside you know in the deep south in we're near the border of Virginia too, so it's Virginia as well. Just down the road, a couple of miles you cross the border. But yeah, guys, so this is it. I think what they have in stock is also largely to do with the, um, the uh, demographics and the economy in the area. Obviously, you can't compare it Boca Raton in southern Florida, where all the millionaires and billionaires live in that area. So... They're not going to stock top of the line TVs that do not sell. They're here to make money. So they're not going to, uh, definitely not going to stock some of these high end televisions because uh, people don't have the money to be able to buy it. The population in this area is not going to be able to buy them. Not many. Well, there's not enough demand. They probably did stock it at some point in the past years, but. Uh, Right now, uh, the best they've got, the, the best they have to offer is the lower model OLED from LG and the 85 Samsung uh, Q, QNet 85, QN85, sorry. All right, so I'm just going to conclude this. Uh, I'm going to finish this up, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel. Otherwise... I mean, I don't make money. I just do. I do these for fun. You know, I ain't making any money. Uh, my account is not even commercialized yet. But so, I'll be grateful if you subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up, perhaps. And other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this one. You let me know if there are any particular television models that you would like to see, because in these type of stores is the only time you can actually see them all at the same time or next to each other with the same content as you can see now surprisingly in this store they're smart in Costco and, and Best Buy you go into a Best Buy they got a bloody different uh, content on each uh, television it's ridiculous then you can't compare the quality visually but this store as you can see every single manufacturer has the same content so th therefore thereby we can tell the picture quality difference and um, yeah so just to finish off I'm going to these gigantic televisions because that's the way to go guys the way to go is big go big or go home as they say if you want a nice television at home that you would enjoy watching well it's definitely going to be one of these uh, three televisions budget ones. So we can't compare this Samsung because it's slightly higher end. We're going to compare this old clearance AU800D, which is a 1347. It's marked down. Okay. Here's the picture. Now they all have the same content. Now remember these. I'm going to move over. Forget this because this is a higher end Samsung. 
obviously it's going to be better so we compare number one and number three and not number two for a budget so this is 1449 this is a 2022 as can be seen it's 2022 it's got google built uh, in you know it's got all the hoopla all the smart capabilities and this does have the generation 5 chip which is what's important you got to give importance to this chip remember you want the TV to work smoothly and integrate with everything else like your Wi-Fi for example the Wi-Fi chip matters in a TV people don't realize now this is not emphasized with all the TV view, uh, viewers uh, on YouTube because that's what determines all the bit rates and all the uh, graphic processing is useless if you don't have the Wi-Fi speeds and the through output data in and data out if you don't have the data in and out capabilities you're streaming and let's say you got like dozens of gadgets uh, even I live in a small home with uh, two bedrooms and uh, even if the square footage is small and you got like five cameras hooked up you got lamps and this and that don't forget they're constantly moving data um, back and forth which affects the TV performance and now also the RAM is important yeah the RAM is one of the most important stuff. Unfortunately, TV manufacturers keep the RAMs low on these. I don't know why, because it makes all the difference in the world when you increase the RAM. Uh, that goes for laptops, cell phones, you know, RAM is everything. So I suspect these ones have about four gigabyte RAM in them. That's my wild guess, because they used to have four or five years ago, two gigabyte on their um, slightly higher end models. But um, the processing speed, is also extremely important and of course as the years go by they put faster arm processors so the processor and the ram is important and this lg tv has their latest um, ai processor generation 5 So everything will run smoother and uh, look for a television now a lot of the television manufacturers don't state that but you got to look for Wi-Fi 6 so if you have Wi-Fi 6 uh, like I do you will if you get the 300 megabytes per second Wi-Fi connection your TV will see those speeds or at least they will get close like um, you will reach 290 280 if you have a nice router Okay, guys, enough. That was way off topic. I'm going to conclude this here in Sam's Club. And I'll see you folks on the next one. Okay, guys, lastly, I'm showing you the 75-inch, the Samsung QN85. And I'm trying to remember how much this was at Costco, but it's already dropped to $25.97 at Sam's Club. So this is their top-of-the-line TV that they sell in this store and this is the highest model which is the 75 inch samsung